Good morning, students, and welcome for today's class. And today, you are going to take a look at example two in that e note you have. So, just turn to the uh, example number two. So, let's walk through it. Is. Okay, let's start. Look at the question here. They ask, uh, they give us this question the system of equation. We asked to solve the system of equation using what matrix method. So, this is the question. I look at the equation here. I have equation one, equation two. So that's what to use for matrix method. So the matrix method is just the same thing as using what the inverse to solve it and get the point. You know that you cannot use any other method of uh, simultaneous equation to solve, but they just want to not just test your ability on how to use the matrix method to solve problem two and get the point. Okay. And one advantage is that you can use to solve more than uh, five different equations, more than five, more than even 10. You get the point. So that rule. So look up here. So the first one I'm going to do is step one. First step is this we are going to form what a matrix out of this system of equation. So so let me take my pen. Okay, so we're going to form a what a matrix out of it. And how do you form the matrix? Just the coefficient. So just write out the matrix form of it. So this is our uh, two equation of x is two, equation of y is three, equation of x is one and the equation of y here is minus four. You get the point. So we form a system of equation and it should be because of what the right hand side, which is this. All this thing made this thing is the same thing as this. So if you multiply this out, you still get this. You get the point. Look at what I mean. If you do this, this times this side is for two x plus three times y is what three y. You get the point and is equal to what minus five you see so if you do this other one to one times x is what x and minus four times y is what minus four you can see so it's just the same thing equal what 14. you can see so it's the same thing. so this is just the matrix form of this system of equation of this clear okay So let rule. So this is system of equation. So what we're going to do now, remember how to find the uh, inverse of the matrix. So we're going to use that method to solve this. So for simplicity, it's not compulsory for you to do this. You can just go ahead and solve. But I just try to make it something simple. So I say let A be this matrix and let B be this column matrix the coefficient, the x the variables, and let Q be the constant near the points, just to make things easy. So now look at it. So the matrix equation can be written as this. So remember, this is the matrix, this is the variable, and this is the constant. So I can write it in a simple way like this. This is the matrix, which is same thing as this guy here, this statement here. Look what I mean. This expression here, the whole of this expression, I can put in a simple form format as this. You get the point. Simple as that. That's what I say. So make it a bit simple. I can write it like this, like the same thing. You get the point, okay? So let me clear the screen. So it's the same thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just multiply both sides by the inverse of the matrix. The reason why I'm multiplying both sides by the inverse of the matrix is this: at the end of the whole day, remember, if you remember, recall yesterday class, we multiply a matrix by its inverse. What are you going to get? A unit matrix, isn't it? A unit matrix. So that means that the left hand side, the whole of this part, okay, so let me show you. The left hand side, the whole of this part here, if we do if carry this multiplication, this guy will give us what a unit matrix times what? Remember, P is the variable, that column matrix. Remember, P is what? P, you say P is equal to what? The column matrix, that is X, Y. Clear? So at the end of the whole day, this is what you're going to just get here. Because if you multiply the inverse by its matrix, you're going to get a, a, what, a unit matrix. And if you multiply this unit matrix, that unit matrix by this column matrix, you're just going to get x, y. So that means that you're going to get uh, x and y equals to what the solution of what they're looking for. Here the point. So that's why I say multiply what. So if you're using this method, you have to use the inverse, the matrix method. What you just need to do, just multiply 
the system of equation by the word, the inverse, multiply both sides by the inverse. You get the point to look at it. I'll let go straight. So if you do that, so as I say, recall the product of the inverse of a matrix and the given matrix gives what a unit what matrix. So that means that the whole of this guy here, we're going to just get or at the end of the whole day, we're just going to get uh the call this uh, column matrix, which is the color uh, XY equals to our result. You get the point. Okay, look at it. So the first thing I'm going to do, remember, if you are using, you are finding the inverse of the matrix, what are the steps? So step one, find the determinant of the matrix. Remember, recall that the inverse of the matrix, recall, remember that the inverse of the matrix, that does mean, let me see, the inverse of matrix A is equal to what? Is equal to the adjoint. The adjoint of matrix A all over the determinant of A. Okay, good. So that means we need to know we need to find the word adjoint, find the word the determinant. And to do this thing can also be written as what one over what the determinant. Then then put times what the adjoint. Okay, so let row. So in that case, so there go. So the first thing we're going to look for, let's find the determinant. So this is the so determinant of matrix A. Remember, this is the determinant form. So when you see two stroke, this is the determinant. So let row. So this is what two times minus four, and this minus eight. Remember the rule for determinant. Multiply the leading diagonal, subtract. So uh, minus one times three, minus uh, three. So you have it to be minus eight minus three remember this times this first the leading diagonal force that is eight minus eight then the next thing you need to do minus first then multiply the other diagonal one times three is, uh, is three so you have it to be this so you have minus eight minus three all is clear so if you do that you have what minus what so the determinant is what minus eleven let me clear the screen then the next thing now is to find what the adjoint of what of matrix A. Remember, since this one is a two by two matrix, that's why you just keep to find the minor and the cofactor because to do the shortcut is just what interchange the what the leading diagonal and multiply the other diagonal by what negative. But if it's a three by three um, matrix, you need to follow those steps. Here are the point. Okay, let's go. So uh, look at this. These are the matrix. So let me write it out again. Matrix A also uh, matrix A on this uh, also two or uh, three one and four and minus four. So this was the matrix of A given to us. Uh, so what we did was what to find the what the adjoint. Now to do for the adjoint, what they do interchange the leading diagonal, just swap them. So that's why you have you can see if I swap this, so this will be four minus four and two will come down here. So this other diagonal, just give it as it is a multiply by what a negative. So you'll be negative, negative. That's why you have negative, negative. So this is the what adjoint. If you want to follow the parameter, what you're going to do first, find the minor by closing this, closing this, you have the minor for two is what you can see it's minus four and that and that and that. Okay, let go. So the next thing now, after you got in your arm joint, the next thing is to find the inverse of the matrix. I remember the inverse is what the arm joint of matrix for that matrix divided by what the determinant. So uh, what is it? So what, what is the our arm joint? This is your arm joint, and the determinant is what minus eleven. So remember too that this sense it as what one all over the determinant. Remember this model, this mathematical skill, I can express this to be this, it's the same thing as this, the adjoint times the adjoint of A. 
that's what you are seeing here. So this is same thing as this. So I have this the fraction out. I just try to pull it out the fraction, then times what the up joint. So this is what I have. So, so this is the inverse now. So let's apply it now to solve. So let me take my mouse. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the inverse. So the next thing now is to apply it now. Remember how to do that? Then you multiply everything, the system of equation by what? The inverse, multiply both sides, look at that statement here. Look at the statement here. I say multiply what? By we multiply both sides of the equation one by what? The inverse. What I'm going to get is this result. So look at it. So if you do that, remember this is our P. Okay, let me write, let me just put them here. Oh. Okay, so this is the matrix. This is uh, the inverse of the matrix. Clear, and let me say this is our uh, a inverse times what? Let me write it very well. So this is a inverse times the matrix a times what? The variable that is p. So let me write the p way p and equals to what the inverse. And remember, we must like both sides by what the inverse. So inverse times the constant, which is this. Let me just uh, minus five and fourteen. So at the end of the old day, you will discover that this part here, everything here, you're going to have a unit matrix. Multiply what? The variable X, the column matrix X, Y. You get the point, so let go. And that will give you the solution. That's why this method is very simple too. When using the matrix method, so let go. So let multiply it now. So I multiply the inverse of the matrix A, multiply the inverse by the matrix A. Times the the column matrix, which is the variable. So let go. So minus four. Remember this multiplication matrix. So minus four times two that give us minus eight. Minus three times one that give us minus three. Then the next guy let go to this other column now. So the same thing to pick this guy. Use it to multiply this guy here. Okay, there you go. That is minus minus four times three that give us minus twelve. Uh, minus three times minus four that give us plus twelve. So you have this. The next guy. Let go to the last or uh, guy now. So this last row. This. Okay, there you go. So minus two times two that give us minus two, and two times one is two. Then let go to this last last part now. So minus minus one times three, that is minus three, and two times minus four, that is minus eight. Then bring this guy here. Remember, I just did the fraction for now. Okay, so let's if you simplify that. So let me clear the screen. So if you simplify that, you simplify that you'll be having so let me pick my pen. Okay, so if you simplify that, this is minus eight, minus three, what do you have? Minus 11. And this guy give us what, zero. This guy is also zero. This is also minus 11, you get the point. And then this part here, if you multiply this guy out, so this is minus four times minus five, that is 20, uh, minus three times 14, that is minus 42. Then minus five times minus five, and minus one times minus five, that is five and two times 14, that is 28. So we solve this part to simplify that, that is 20 minus 42, that gives us minus 22. And five plus 28, that is 33. So you have this part now. So now look up here, look up here. Now look up this part and then use this the fraction now. So let go. So remember what this thing means. This multiply everything, all the elements here. So this is same thing as what you have this part here. This part here is minus one over 11 times 
minus what? 11 over 1. Minus times minus, give us plus. So you have 11 all over 11, and that gives us what? 1. So you have it to be real. You can see, so you have 1. The same thing to 0 over anything is 0. 0 over anything is 0. The same thing to this is what? 1. So they observe now, they see the unit matrix is out. They see now. So that why I was telling that if you multiply the inverse of a matrix by that matrix itself, you're going to get what? A unit matrix. They imply that the whole of that, this part time, you get to what? A unit matrix. So you just have what? The unit matrix times what? The column matrix, the variable. And this, you remember you're looking for X and Y, and this whole part here, just the answer is out already. So let's go to this part now. So this one, the same thing to minus. 1 over 11 minus 1 over 11 times uh, minus 22. Minus 22 this over 1. So that is what? Uh, minus times minus is 22 all over what? 11. That gives us uh, 2. Sorry, 2. So you have 2. The same thing to uh, minus. 1 over 11 times what? Or oh, 33. This over 1. So this sentence has 1. No, sorry. 11 to itself, 1. 11 to 33. That is 3. So you have minus 3. So you have it this. And remember, this part is what? The whole of this is what? means that the answer is, you are getting your answer. So it means x is what? Okay, we multiply this in out. What are you going to get? X, one times x is what? One times x is uh, x plus zero times y is what? Zero. The next one, zero times x is zero, and one times y is y. So x, that is, I have zero plus what? Y. So what do you have at the end of the day? You're having it to be having to be x y equals to what equal two and minus three and what does it mean me s is two and y is what three so that you can start with simple as that so you can see so hence X is what two and Y is what three. So look at the assignment here. Oh, I think it's also on oh, this should be your assignment. Just try use the same idea. Just apply the same idea. Then you should be able to solve it. So that it's uh, just the same idea and you are good to go. In short, this first part as if calculate the determinant. So just calculate the determinant. Remember you're going to use that determinant. So you like just don't step one. Just the next step is to find the words the the adjoint of this matrix after that find the inverse then apply the rule that if you multiply the system of equation if you apply the uh, inverse with the matrix itself and the variable x and y should be equal to what some variable on the right hand side and that's the answer okay. thank you have a great day bye for now